Welcome back, 513, and this morning on Ready Pet Go, there is a saying, dog training is 24-7. Boy, is that right. Either you're <laughs> training your dog or your dog is training you. Makes sense, right? Yes. Our own three news, Stephanie Haney has experienced plenty of ups and downs with her pup, Oscar Wilde McCool, who just turned one. Oscar's behavior left a lot to be desired, so she turned to Shaker Hound Academy for some much needed help. Take a look. For a lot of us, getting a puppy can be the best thing to ever happen to us. But if I'm being honest, sometimes they can be the absolute worst. Case in point, meet Mr. Oscar Wilde McCool. Oscar the Wild Man, if you follow him on Instagram. And even for all of his adorable fluff and sweet puppy kisses, boy has he been living up to the wild part of his name. We are here for what I am calling Operation Oscar. <laughs> I've met Oscar. Oscar's your typical teenage pup with some good behaviors and some, we would say, undesired behaviors we're here to work on, mm. both of those. That's dog trainer Chris Ramsey. Oscar, go ahead. The owner of the Shaker Hound Academy in Shaker Heights who promises me that Oscar is, in fact, trainable. And more importantly, so am I. And this is different than how you, they used to train in the 70s and 80s. It was like, you're going to follow my commands. I'm going to tell you what to do every second of the day. And if you don't, you're going to get in trouble. Chris uses a modern training style called training between the ears that focuses on rewarding good behavior instead of punishing your pup for things you don't want them to do. So it takes some time. It's worth it. The more time you put up front, the less work you have to do later. When he starts making decisions on our own, this is what we want. That's kind of hard to wrap my mind around because at one year old now, Oscar's decisions up to this point have included climbing on coffee tables, jumping on countertops, eating wallets, toilet paper, socks, and shoes, jumping up on everyone who comes through the front door, and dragging me down the street while trying to chase every car that passes us by on our walks. You could say he's excited about life, and it shows. I would say excitability is a problem for most dogs, and it's nice that Oscar's excitability is driven by, you could say, optimism. So when their excitability is driven by anger or pessimism, um, those are more serious cases. Oscar the Optimist also has two cats living with him at home who don't exactly appreciate his big personality, especially when he wants to chase them across the room. McDuff, not a fan. Finn, quietly tolerant. Tolerates, okay, yeah. tolerates good. So the more that um, Oscar can kind of relax and behave properly, uh, the cats will pick up on that body language. If the cats come in the room and Oscar just looks at the cats and he just does this, the cats won't do that. So if we work on his behavior, it'll change the cat's behavior and everybody wins. Yes. Good. We love the sound of that, but we know we need a little extra help with all of this right now, so that's why Oscar is about to embark on a two-week doggy boot camp with Chris to give all of us the jump start we need. Once we deal with his excitement piece and we get him kind of relaxed and a little bit focused, not like a robot, but just like behaving good, we can ask him to do whatever we want. If we don't take care of the emotional piece first, we can't ask for that physical piece. Can we get the excitement piece under control? Will we ever make it to the physical piece? Chris seems to think so, but only time will tell. Either way, stay tuned for the results in part two of Operation Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Be good, buddy. I love you. I know. You're so excited. You're so excited. Okay. This is Stephanie Haney hanging on to Oscar's leash by a thread for 3 News. It's tough. And we can't wait to see how Oscar is doing. You can learn more about Shaker Hound Academy and training between the ears in our Ready Pet Go section. That is on WKYC.com. Holly, training. Oh, I, yeah. I've been saying at home, I'm training my kids more than I'm training the puppy. Listen, it doesn't stop either. <laughs> I've got three dogs and I'm still training my kids and the dogs and everything else. So yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a work in progress that we all have to uh, get accustomed to. It's a lot of work.